Hello, so today we are going to look at the assignment number 8 of the cloud computing. We have to design an application in which we are using the Firebase as our authentication and Google App Engine in which we will require our app and store our data in the Google Data Store. So now let's look at the requirement what we need to install. Here are the steps listed out. So first we need to go to the Google Cloud Console. When the first you will log in, you have to uh, you have to give your card data and create one project. After creating a new project, you will see like this console. And for billing, you can use your debit card of Visa or Master. Okay. And after that, you need to install the Google Cloud CLI. Uh, and then you have to use the Google Cloud Init command to initialize it. Then you have to select your project and pay. After that, you have to clone the grid repository on this T1 link. The grid repository will do something like this. In this, it will contain this new content. In this, in this, you have to go to this app engine standard here you can see the multiple things you can try out and for us we need to go to the standard app engine standard firebase we have to search for the firebase and here we will create the fire nodes app as the part of assignment So in the next step we have to add our Firebase configuration files, configuration keys into our application. So go to the main.js file, here you can see the config, we have to add all this. So first we will go to the console.firebase.com, here we have to create a new project if not already created, then here we have to click the web app. And once you enter the register app, like I have created this test-cllr, here you can see the project ID is there. And following that you can see the, all the keys that we have mentioned. And after that you have to install the backend dependencies. And finally you can run the app using this command. In this you can see the 8000 see our server. Here we have default, default is our content, backend is our backend. Here you can see we got the SSTO file notes. As I have already signed in, so it is again human. Let's sign out because the data is stored in our cookies. Like this, we can sign in and we can have our save notes. It is currently the, uh, running on the local host. Uh, we need to deploy it. This is Google App Engine. As you can see, I have typed my notes and it is saved. And you can see the same response in the our terminal also because I have printed the claim. Now you can see in the main.js file. Here after that file. We are using Python 2 version. And with main.py file here we have the Slash notes get it is our method to get the notes and post it is used to put the notes. We have to give our in the audience the ID is our Google job and Firebase project ID here. As you can see, we have to the data. We can refer this also. This is uh, the documentation and this you can get everything in one place. Here every step is mentioned. Now to require our app, we need to use this command. First we need to change our backend URL in the main.js file. If 
Project ID is our Google Cloud project that we have created. As I have already deployed there, uh, you will not see these steps. But in the first, you need to, while deploying, it will ask for the region where you want to deploy. And following that, it will upload all the files into that server. We well, started the deployment. It is just deploy the updated file. It will take some time, probably 5 minutes to prepare. Yeah, as you can see, our app got deployed here is the URL and then try it out. And basically, the alternative rate will be the firewall and our data is still on the Google The file is being uploaded for the backend. You can provide multiple authentication based on the user authentication available. So, first, we will go to the database here. We have to add this URL also. The database URL section. It's a real time You can see the users over here. And once you go to the authentication section, we have you can see that there is signing methods available. We can add the new providers as the Google Cloud their quantity level. You can add any one of the provider, which is mentioned here. And we have to add the our domain for which we are authorized after the we have prepared the cloud. That will be good here. Yeah. So now let's look at where uh, what activities is happening on our Google Cloud. So you can explore all the services that uh, Google Cloud provides. In this you have to do the Google Cloud overview and the activity section. Here we can see all the activities in motion. And when we go to our dashboard, you can see the request API for it. And if we go to the storage, cloud storage, you can see our apps, the file we have uploaded. Then you can explore uh, more things, and we also can see the location and the data where the server is displayed. the monitoring of the data so we will plan and go to this uh, reference and here all the steps are mentioned and finally we can get the output thank you